In this video I'll explain how to force plot axis to start at zero using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with lines 2 and 3 of the code. So after running lines 2 and 3 of the code you can see at the top right of RStudio two new vector objects which are called x and y and both of these vector objects contain numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw a scatter plot of these data using the basic installation of the R programming language. Then we can apply the plot function as you can see in line 5 of the code. So if you run line 5 of the code you can see at the bottom right that we have created a new scatter plot which is showing our six data points in our vectors x and y. However, you can also see that the x and y axes do not start at zero, but they start at the lowest point in our data. So if you want to change those axis limits, then we can apply the ylim and xlim arguments that you can see in lines 8 and 9. So in lines 7 to 9, I'm again applying the plot function to our vectors x and y, and then I'm also specifying that our x limb should range from 0 to 10 and our y limb should range from 0 to 8. So if you run lines 7 to 9 of the code you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated and this time the x and y axis ranges start at 0. However you can also see that at the bottom left there is a small corner which is a bit lower than 0. So if we want to remove this corner as well, we can apply the xx and the yx arguments within the plot function, as you can see in the next example, starting in line 11. So in lines 11 to 15 of the code, I'm applying the same syntax as in the previous example, and then I'm also specifying the xx and the yx arguments to be equal to i. So if you run lines 11 to 15, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated once again and this time our axes start exactly at zero and this small corner at the bottom left has been removed. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.